Okay, so we have a fancy splash page. We can search for companies. We can add companies to our portfolio. We can analyze our stock in all types of beautiful ways using pretty complex algorithms. But with all of this crazy technology, our numbers look really bad because they're way too precise. And also our income statement and balance sheet are not fully utilizing all of our data. We have way more data at our disposal and we're going to add number one, more data. And we're also going to clean up a lot of these really large, very hard to read numbers and make things just look a lot better. And this is going to be really easy. So first things first, just go inside of your source folder and I'm going to create a folder called helpers and we're going to call this number formatting helpers. Also, a lot of this is going to be hinged upon the GitHub commit called number formatting. I'm going to leave a link down below. And what we're going to do is just copy all of these algorithms that I pre-built for you. Then we're going to copy all of these configs and I'm gonna save you a lot of time and effort and just do everything because it would be absolute torture to follow a tutorial that is going to make you type all of this out and I would not force that upon anybody. So go ahead, go down to the link below because we're going to be doing a lot of copying and pasting. And the first thing is we're going to copy and paste from the number formatting TSX. So go in there, copy that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go inside of our folder here. I'm gonna say number formatting .tsx. For some reason, if you use anything but TSX, it could actually have a lot of errors, so make sure to actually add the TSX, even though it is not actually TSX or JSX. Okay, so that looks good. Next thing that you want to do is go back to the GitHub, and we're going to first grab the company profile. So let's go to the company profile, just go into here very quickly, and copy this whole entire object right here. So go into here, copy this whole entire object, go ahead, swing back into your um, company profile inside of VS Code right here. I'm sorry, there is, there's a bug on my computer screen and it's really kind of making me nervous. So hold on one second, I'm actually going to uh, just shoo it away really quick. Okay, I'm back. So go back. Our, we're gonna go back and we're going to add our imports for all of these so that was pretty much all ratios. Then go ahead, import these as well too. That looks great. So let's go ahead and make sure that it, it went through successfully. And if you look, oh my gosh, look at that. That is so beautiful. Wow. All right, so let's do the income statement. So go back, go ahead, bring up the GitHub and let's go just come back to the income statement. So go into here, just go ahead, grab that object very quickly and go ahead, copy and paste, go inside VS code. So we're gonna go income statement and go ahead, get this object out of the way. So here, looking good, but now we need to bring it in. Go ahead, bring this one in. Looking good and we are up and running. So now what we need to do is go ahead and make sure that it works. So go back to the income. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at all those beautiful little numbers. So income statements looking good. And we're going to go back and we're gonna do the balance sheet. So let's go get back to the balance sheet. Go back into here. So go into here. Sorry, this is some of the stuff is very boring. I can understand if you're about to lose your mind, but it is what it is. So go into here and per usual, we're gonna bring in all of our imports. And I think, yep, that looks good. So go back, let's make sure balance sheets. Ooh, look at that. Wow, we even have some nice bold right there to really spruce things up. So now we're gonna go back to our cash flow statement and we're also going to do our cash flow statement. So go into here, go into cash flow statement, go down. We're going to go uh, copy and paste. We're going to go back into VS Code 
Let's see here. Cash flow statement. Looking good. And then we're going to go ahead, of course, copy and paste and import. And I think that is going to do it. Wow, that is beautiful. Let's go, let's go through one more time. Also, one thing forgot, we also need to fix this price up here. And we also need to fix the market cap. The market cap is a little bit too much. So I'm going to bring this over here and just go back into VS Code very quickly. And we're going to go to our company page. Go ahead, close this down. We need to go into our pages, company page. And first thing is going to go to, we need to go to our tile. So find our price. We'll go ahead, add a money symbol right here. Money. And <laughs> so I'm actually going to get rid of the market cap. And I'm going to replace the market cap with a discounted cash flow. I'm a discounted cash flow kind of guy. I think discounted cash flow is a great metric and something that is going to be needed when you are first evaluating companies. If you don't know what a discounted cash flow is, I would highly recommend to research into it. But I'm going to go ahead and change this to discounted cash flow. And I think if you're actually like a finance person, this would make your actual app look a lot more appealing to an employer. So if you want to, I would highly suggest researching what a discounted cash flow rate is or discounted cash flow in general. And it's going to make you look really good to employers. I would think uh, personal opinions, some people may think differently, but I think discounted cash flow is pretty, it's a pretty important metric. So we're gonna go ahead, get that in there. Let's go ahead, go back. Let's go ahead, refresh. And we are looking good. Our company profile is looking good. Our income statement is looking a lot more visually pleasing. Our balance sheet is looking amazing. And our cash flow statement is looking awesome too. Also, I added the historical dividend. There is on the GitHub, there is a historical dividend. If you want the historical dividend, you can add it. But I added it and I just didn't think it looked really that good. So it is on the GitHub if you want it, but I'm not going to add it because I don't know. I just I just didn't like the way it looked, but it did utilize graphs. And if you're really interested in graphs, it would be right up your alley. But anyways, that's going to be it for the front end. The back end version is going to be released probably in about a month. And that is going to include auth. It's going to include comments. And it's also going to include the actual portfolio, adding the portfolio. So you'll be able to add your actual portfolio picks like we do here when you do the ad you'll be able to actually add them on the back end so they'll be persisted and they're not going to be blown away every single time you refresh the page like they do now they'll actually be persisted anyways hope that you guys enjoyed this if you did make sure to smash that like button smash that subscribe button and i'll see you guys when we build the api